everyone thank you for tuning in to this recipe i am sharing with you how to cook the most delicious vegetable soup i am rosie welcome to my kitchen for this recipe i'll be using peppers onions beef you may use any meat of your choice beef skin beef stripes stock fish dried fish, blended crayfish, seasoned cubes, red palm oil. I'll start by adding salt to the stock fish. Add hot water. I'll be leaving it to soak for hours before using it. You can do this overnight and this will help to soften the stock fish. Next, I will transfer the beef inside the pot, add the beef stripes. I will season with garlic, onions, peppers, season cubes, salt. I will add a little bit of water. I will give it a stir and use the spoon to break the season cubes. I will be cooking the meat until they become tender. Each part of the meat that is cooked first. I will then take them out for vegetable i am using spinach you can use ugu and water leaf for this recipe and you can also use any other green vegetable that is similar to spinach as well after plugging it i will then add salt and i'll be washing the vegetable until it becomes clean I wash it several times until there are no more sand in the vegetables. Once that is done, I will slice the vegetable. Next, I'll add salt and hot water. I am blanching the vegetable at this point spinach contains a lot of water i like to blanch it before using it if not the soup is going to be watery i'll take it out of the hot water right away transfer it to a very cold water to stop the cooking process and also to help to retain the beautiful green color of the vegetable I added a little bit of ice. This is totally optional. You can use just cold water to do this as well. I will strain it out, put it aside and see I'm ready to use it. Next, the meat is almost ready. To that, I'll add the beef skin, stock fish and dried fish, blended pepper, diced onions, red palm oil, and stir. I'll be leaving this to cook on a medium heat for 15 minutes so the palm oil can cook well as well as the rest of the ingredients. 15 minutes later, I'll then give it a stir. At this point, everything is nicely cooked and the water is dry so all we have now is just the meat and the oil next i'll add blended crayfish and the vegetable i will stir to combine everything together I 
I will then taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. I will add a little bit of salt and stir. So because this is vegetable soup, we are not going to be overcooking it. I will cover it, leave it to cook for two minutes. Two minutes later, the soup looks amazing and it smells amazing. The vegetables still retain its beautiful green color. It did not change color at all. And this soup is not too dry and is not too watery. It's just the way I like it. At this point, this vegetable soup is ready. I'll remove it from the pot, transfer it inside a packing bowl. Once it cools down, I will then cover it and put it in the refrigerator. Removing the soup from the pot right away will help to stop the cooking process. Next, I'll be making swallow to enjoy this deliciously made vegetable soup. In the hot water, I will add some yam powder and stir it until there are no more lumps. So for this, you can make it according to the consistency you like. If you like it very strong, you make it strong. If you like it very soft, make it soft. So once it's nicely stirred, I'll add the hot water, which I took out earlier on. Cover it, leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, I will then stir it until everything comes together. The yam swallow is ready. I will remove it from the pot. And I'll be wrapping it with plastic food wrap. The plastic food wrap I'm using is BPA free. You can also serve it without wrapping it as well. Food is ready. You can enjoy this vegetable soup with any swallow of your choice. You can also enjoy it with rice or boiled yams. The soup was very, very delicious. I hope you do give this recipe a try. And if you do, let me know. You can send me your pictures on Instagram at Rose's Kitchen. Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video.